Welcome to the Tax Platform where we discuss various matters on tax. Uh, in today's episode, we are going to be discussing donation and inheritance tax. And on the show, I'm with Melora now, who is a tax consultant. Welcome. Thank you. So I'm going to require you to take us through donation and inheritance tax as to what exactly it is and answer this question if, um, tell us whether gifts and donations are taxable. Yes, um, thank you. Thank you very much for that uh, question. Donations and inheritance tax uh, is, is one of, of the least dealt with taxes in the country. Um, technically, we call it capital transfer tax, and it deals with your donations, gifts, and inheritance. So if you are inheriting something um, from your parents or from your uncle, whoever you inherit it from, uh, it's taxed. If you are in, if you are getting a gift from someone, uh, you need to declare it for tax purposes and you assess and see how much is going to be taxed at. And if you receive a donation, that uh, donation is, is taxed. Then all these the gifts, um, donations, or inheritances that are taxed, but uh, <clears throat> there are elements that are exempt. For example, when it comes to to parents and their kids or their beneficiaries, uh, whenever they give or they left something for their children, that is exempt because the children are considered the beneficiaries and the heirs. So no donations and inheritance tax at all. Then there are gifts, uh, what you call casual gifts. When there are casual gifts and there are more than 25,000, that's when now they become taxable for donations and inheritance tax purposes. And the 25,000 is an aggregate value over a period of 12 months. From the 1st of July in this year to the 30, first of, I mean 30th June in the following year. So if you have received a gift from someone that is worth 15000 and then someone else give, gives you a gift that is worth 20000 and someone also gives you a gift that is worth 10000 you aggregate that in, then we come in 55000 So you have to declare tax on the 30000 and the 25000 uh, is not taxable at all. So if the gift was less than 25000 or the aggregate value of the gifts was less than 20000 then we didn't worry about donations and inheritance tax. So that's, that is, basically that, that's it when it comes to donations and inheritance tax and, and the taxation. But when it comes to the inheritance also, and it is, an estate is distributed, the first 100,000 is, is exempt. So if an estate is worth 5 million, the 100,000 portion uh, will be exempt from in donations and inheritance tax. And of course, there are other exemptions when it comes to destitutes, yeah, and any uh, exemption that is granted in the transfer duty act will also be granted in the donations and inheritance act. Okay. Can you take us through the, the rates at which these donations or gifts or inheritance can be taxed? Yes, um, the, the, it will depend on whether you are a company or you are an individual. So if you are a company, the rate is flat, 12%, no matter the value of the gift. But when it comes to individuals, uh, the gift with relation to the inheritance, the first 100,000, the value is taxed at 2%, then the next 200,000, over the 100,000 is at 3%, and the following 200,000 is at 4%. So when you summarize this, uh, you find that the first 100,000, 500,000 is normally taxed, it's 16,000 with the tax. Then anything above 500,000, it will be taxed at 5%. Yeah. So if you are, you are, maybe you are inheriting a house that is worth 1 million from your uncle, you know that on the first 500,000 you pay 16,000 Buddha and then you pay 5% of the next 500,000. Okay. Yeah. But there are certain institutions or organizations or even companies that require that their employees uh, declare certain gifts or whatever they received from a client. 
can you take us through whether these institutions are doing that for tax purposes or not? Yes. The, um, the, the, the main element is, is always corporate governance. So co in corporate governance, you'll find tax in there, you'll find issues of conflict of interest to say, okay, when you receive this gift, is there a conflict of interest issue? Yes, then there will also be the tax element to say, okay, this is uh, worth how much and uh, how much are you going to pay on this donation. So if it's to a company, then the company has to pay tax on the value of the donation at 2.5. Then if they end up giving you as an individual, you have to, you have to, to declare, uh, going back to the research hold, if it's less than 25,000, then you won't help to pay. So the main thing is corporate governance and tax you will still find it under corporate governance issues. So yes, in summary, you can say the tax is always there. Okay, so it's it's for purposes of capturing any information that's most likely to be used for tax yes. authorization. Yeah. Okay, I think this is very important information that uh, a lot of people should have access to. So where can we find or where can people find more information on taxation? and uh, in, on inheritance gifts or donations? Yes, um, for farming purposes or for NGO purposes, they can always get those books, the Farmer's Tax Handbook or Taxation of non profit Organizations. Mm -hmm. uh, they have information on capital transfer tax or donations and inheritance tax. But if you want to read general on donations and inheritance tax, there was a project I was involved in earlier this year, around July, June there, about um, I reviewed a book authored by Jonathan Horry, who is also a tax consultant. Uh, it's purchased at 250 bullets it's an e-book. They can contact him on 71-815-836. They can always, of course, read our articles on the tax platform on our blog, and they can watch videos, listen to the audios, subscribe to our YouTube channel to get access to such information. Okay, thank you. This was the tax platform on donation and inheritance tax. For more information, you can check out our social media platforms on Facebook and Twitter at the tax platform, or you can subscribe to the YouTube channel, Dumelaran Now. This is the tax platform informing the nation on tax matters. See you in the next episode.